Um, I, I'd like to ask uh, C. Raymond. It's interesting to see this model of uh, precisely tries to address the needs of smaller businesses. Ang nakita ko uh, in your, uh, both of your presentations is that uh, it seems that businesses now are really trying to address societal needs, not just because of uh, corporate social responsibility, but uh, through their uh, business uh, business model. Is this something that you were uh, conscious about? Na gusto niyo ng tumulong sa mga unmet needs, or did you really just see na meron din business opportunity dito na lang? Um, for Grab, really, it was about unmet needs. The story of Grab was Anthony and Wheeling were our founders. They were having, I think, coffee one time. Tapos nato complain si Wheeling kasi pag girl ka, tapos kinangang mag taxi sa Malaysia. No time na yun, medyo hindi siya ganun na safe. So they were trying to look for an opportunity na parang what if we could provide um, that kind of service. Kaya one of Grab's first campaigns when the time that they launched in Malaysia was don't drink, just, I mean, don't drive, just drive. Like for people who go to parties, right? So really, I mean, of course not as heavy as, you know, creating business opportunities or, um, empowering the drivers. But it really was solving a particular problem at that time. Alright, so in uh, the case of uh, Philippine companies you know, wanting to transform, so there's, I saw that need, I saw the gap between, uh, you know, uh, technology and behavior. And it's still present now. Uh, you know, when you speak to HR notes, you know, HR is the last to digitize in a company by the way. Uh, the first thing to digitize is uh, marketing, next operations, uh, and then last is HR. So that's the reason why HR is the least digital, digitally thinking. Uh, on the other hand, you have technologies you know, pushing heavily on the technology. One of the problems, of, uh, well, the main problem of many companies now, uh, they get uh, to buy technology, you know, and then uh, in the end, you know, the technology they buy are a hodgepodge of, of different systems that do not talk to each other. Uh, and then couple that with resistance from employees on uh, how to use this uh, new technology and so on. So that gap uh, exists up to now. Another gap is uh, you know, companies are not uh, uh, going to the SMEs. SMEs in our country need uh, digital transformation as well. Uh, in, in the provinces, you'd be surprised how many companies still do not have a website. No? And I went to Bacolod, no, did a talk there, no? and uh, SMEs there, no? they don't even know what a website is. No? So that's uh, the kind of problem we have. No? So there's that gap. On uh, the other hand, no, another province, no, Lumaguete, is probably the most vigorous uh, you know, uh, province no? because it has a landing station on the to get as the fastest bandwidth, by the way. The uh, submarine cables no, land in Dumaguete. No? So that's why Dumaguete has the most number of freelancers in any uh, province in the Philippines. Uh, it's a common practice no, amongst uh, uh, you know, millennials and, and professionals. So those jobs exist no, and uh, you know, it's understanding really what the market needs and what employees need and what companies need. Any questions? Okay, there's a question. Please uh, state your name and your affiliations. Good morning. Uh, my name is Christopher Garcia. I'm an um, MBA student. So I'm interested to know because you've shown a lot of features and uh, use of uh, grant. Um, I'd like to know which segment of the market are you targeting? And uh, right now, is it more of the upper C? Or are you trying to capture the DE market as well? Um, okay, so with transport, that well, actually across it's 15 to 34, um, the millennials. Um, for transport, I for grab car, I think it would be around AB to upper C. Um, but with food, we're changing that. Because transport, to be honest, there's a fair limit. There's a, there's a fair reality there. Eh? 
So, hindi naman talaga lahat kaya i-afford yun. That's why we're looking into other options. You mentioned about we're now in development um, for bus for G. Um, doing integrated. Who has been back to Boracay? <coughs> no, nobody yet. So, di ba Boracay just opened? So, there's now integrated uh, transport there. So, there's a jeepney there. It's like an e jeepney um, where people just pay a fixed fare and they can go on, parang siyang hop on, hop off. So, to make it more reliable as well. So, we're working with the government on that in doing trike. It's also very affordable. So all of these sort of bridge the gap. Kaya important yung multi-modal. Kasi you can't just be grab car or just grab share. There are realities here. Eh? So you have to be able to cater to all that. But food caters to all. Thank you. Yes, another question. Uh, Ma'am, uh, I question is on... Oh. Hello, I'm Earl, and my question is on another kind that I've seen in the industry, which is on half-baked transformations, which usually, well, from my observation, stems from leaders not being exactly sure what are the specifics needed to transform. So one, one example that I saw is uh, job roles that, that are inaccurate, like, uh, like, like there are, since I've seen many companies that have that have a vague understanding of what data science is. So when they write data scientist in their when they're looking for a data scientist, it's usually not the skills needed for a data scientist. And also when it comes to the technologies, they're not also sure what exactly the technologies they need to perform the transformation properly. So I'm wondering if you would know a way to address these transformation, these uh, gaps in terms of uh, misinformation and uh, knowledge. And that's what I exactly do, or you can hire me. <laughs> <laughs> so, exactly, no, your observation. No? Uh, many executives, no? and uh, this is a lesson to all of you no? uh, students, many executives still out there no? uh, do not know what they don't know. Uh, I've spoken with uh, senior execs of a large conglomerate uh, uh, thinking about data science analytics uh, and they have massive data from different companies and their problem is simple they don't know how to hypothesize now hypothesis uh, uh, formulation and testing is uh, you know, critical thinking and uh, you know, because probably executives have been so immersed in operations they they uh, you know, forget about these things. So, and uh, traditionally, the you know, technology has been relegated to the CIO, or technology companies. So, uh, yes, there is that gap, and how to address that is really educating the executives. Uh, and also, I've done a lot of workshop with executives on on uh, on what transformation is, and and even uh, you know coming up with uh, use cases, no? hypothesis. No? to test no, and try no, to that level, no, in that level of thinking. No. So it's really, uh, you, know, uh, you know, companies no, uh, need to uh, learn no, from uh, outsiders, from consultants and experts. Thank you. So I totally agree. Issue that namin yan sa graph sometimes. Like, oh, what's this new rule gonna be? What to do? I think if I could approach it from the way I tell my own team, yung technology is it moves so fast, right? Digital economy now is just parang like when I joined Graph before, we only had car. That was a year and uh, seven months ago. We had car. We had just launched share. Today, there's a variety of services, right? And as that grows really quickly, hindi mo scale up yung company as quickly as that. So roles have change quite a lot, and magkakano talaga ng ganong gap. Yun yung first reality ko. But, so apart from, I guess you have to take it from a proactive approach. So like, apart from um, consulting, of course, with experts or hiring, 
I think the onus is on us. So for those for students who are applying, if you get into a company, it's up to you also to drive that change. Because, di ba kayo yung kayo yung mas digital to be honest. Like my team pitches ideas to me and tells me, um, since I want to like the other day, sabi ng ng team ko, since I want to do a mukbang contest, I said, what's mukbang? Sabi niya, ha, huh? hindi mo na yung mukbang. Sabi ko, I have no idea what mukbang is. Right? So, kayo yung mas digital, kayo yung mas in the whole trends, and you learn all of these new things. I joined Grab, I had no idea what social media was, I didn't know how to do digital, I had no idea what conversion rate was, I learned it all on the job. Very vague, right? No clear rules. They told me just do marketing, do digital. I didn't know what that meant. I didn't know if I had the tools, right? So, I guess that's what I want to remind everyone. There is a gap. You can help yourself address this gap, but you have to drive the change that you want. So, next question. So, for the last questions. Okay, so that's the last. <laughs> So, yeah, so let's have until I have two questions for you. <laughs> 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 so, the technology, actually, I might be really enthusiastic about the technology, and it's, it's really interesting that we're having this discussion right now. So, personally, because I think you need more about being a single chatbot. Chatbot, it's really. I was impressing with some such but kasi ako, whenever I call kasi yung mga companies, talaga lang yan, it's either may reklamo ako or may request ako. And one of my biggest concerns is that, for example, tawag ko sa PNT, may problema ko sa kanila. Sasagot na naman ang chat, but that's really, mas mag-disappoint ako, mas mag-iinis ako. So, my question for you, sir, is that, how do you address that one? Remember, because you're, you're moving towards that, you're trying to automate it, you're trying to take advantage of AI to answer these things. But the problem with those things is that they don't have a decision making, and they don't have a feeling that they don't have a feeling. Ah, yeah, I like the feelings of that. There was a new video that came out in LinkedIn. So, Apparently, you know, China is now having uh, digital hand force, no? AI hand force. You see that, no? So robotic, you know, human uh, you know, hand force, no? but uh, based on an AI. Uh, you know, AI is here to stay, no? whether we like it or not. No? Uh, yeah, we understand that uh, we like, uh, you know, person, uh, personal touch, no? but many of the tasks now that we're handling are uh, manual and menial, no? and those tasks should be. Uh, assigned to a, a robot. No, uh, that's the only way. No? Uh, you know, uh, the skill of uh, employees should uh, upgrade no? to a higher level. Now, that problem you had no, with PLD, it's the design of the service. No? That's a design problem. No? Uh, if, if you're familiar with customer journey map, no? if you map the journey of a customer like you, and that's a pain point, then one way to fix that is to really change the business rules of the chat button. You know, it's, you know, technology will find a solution and people will find solution around problems using technology. You know. But uh, you know, the companies like uh, LTTs and other companies that use chat you know, they have to realize the, you know, the pains of uh, you know, if, if consumers go through uh, with new technologies like this. Thank you, sir. So for the first thing, so this is my question, because I'm also a regular grab writer, and siguro yung nakikita niyo nga, isa ako sa mga yun. But anyway, so uh, with regard to grab, sure, because I think one of the concerns that we have as consumers kasi about grab is that uh, I'm a regular user of grab share, and one of the problems is first, yung matching, medyo, medyo minsan talaga, hindi pa lang kung ano yung ginagamit nyo. Second is that, may lead kami sa drivers, pero wala kami lead sa kasama. But see, well, this is something that you... It's actually very good. Yeah, this is... This is actually... <laughs> this is a reality. Because I think... Let's be... Let's be... Let's be... Let's be through this one. May mga kasama ka kung hindi pa naman mga 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 And uh, unfortunately, because I think... Kasi naging boss of people and drivers. The problem with them is that ang nakikita niya drivers, but the problem is that ang nakikita niya drivers, and ang nakikita niya drivers, for us consumers, you can just change the word number and you already have another grab account. But for the drivers, come on, 
technology. Yeah. So I think I just want to speak about the idea of the drivers because I think I support with them every day. And that's one of the concerns. And I'm always not concerned with it. I'm not sure if I'm going to So, yeah. Uh, what, uh, so technology, I think, I'm not sure how you will address that one because yeah. Yeah, that's a loophole that okay. we think. So, um, oh, interesting. So, the first one on GrabShare, um, admittedly, hindi perfect in algorithm of matching. The problem also is has to do with our maps. Our maps is in the Philippines are not as advanced as the maps abroad. Uh -oh. So, parang, I'll give an example. Like, my house, there's an island that sits in the middle of the room. Pag yung pin ko nandun sa kabila, kasi nasa kabilang side ng room, kasi kitang-kita ko siya ang gap. Ang problem, because it's attached to ways, every time the car arrives on the other side of the road, kahit nandun yung pin, ways says you the right. So, hindi siya rin fault talaga ng app. It's just that we have to make do with what the limitations are of our own Philippine maps. Hindi ka tulad sa ibang bansa, di ba? I presume the government would have a... Talagang they really work on improving these things. Hindi tayo ganun ka So, but we're getting better at it kasi there's like an entire tech team that sits on improving what we call graph roads and looking at these things and fixing map POIs and algorithms. So, it gets better over time. If you saw the match rates and the time spent in the car when I started working with Grab, sobrang layo na niya from the today. Kaya dati, di ba, parang yung, yung driver, pwede nang nasa car gan sa lahat kasamay. Kasi hindi kami makahanap ng match somewhere. So, we're trying to make that better. So, yun yung commitment. The second one is actually something that's not new. It's already in our list. Kasi, talaga nga naman, di ba? Minsan nang yung ka-share mo, medyo may pinagdadaanan. That's what I call it. Yeah, I read all of the Facebook rants and I read everything that goes in there. Sometimes my friends rant. Hindi nila alam ako yung nagbabasa ng mga rant. So, um, it's in development. Um, it's just a matter of time. Ang problem kasi ngayon, the limitation here is that we're expanding all these verticals, right? Lahat may needs. So, kailangan mo lang i-prioritize sino uunahin ni Tech. Ano yung mga talagang need of moving, ano yung uunahin niya? Then you go. That's why we launched this video. First one was with Bell Daza. You can, baka nasa archives pa. We were encouraging proper conduct in the car. So, meron kami example doon na kumakain yung pasahero ng bago-o. So, no-no yun. <laughs> mga ganyan. Saka yung sinahagisan niya yung katabi niya ng mga bag. Uso din yun. Pati yung sumasakay ng grab shares sa airport. Tapos, kalahati ng car na lang niya. Marami din ganun. So, these are the things that we hope by educating people, we hope they'll listen. But the tech part will come. Thank you. Yes. Morning, uh, Sir Ray and Ms. Cindy. Before I ask you questions, I actually want to ask the audience about a few things. And uh, well, before I do that, I'm gonna lay it down, okay? So, digital transformation is made possible by the ability of companies uh, to process huge amounts of data. And uh, to put it into perspective, business perspective, in 2007, the top 10 Fortune 500 companies were traditional brick and mortar firms. Fast forward 10 years, in 2017, the top 10 uh, Fortune 500 companies were already digital companies. Now the thing is, a lot of these companies process our personal information. And uh, actually, I'm now in admission because siguro I'm trying to atone for my sins. I've been with sales for more than 20 years. And um, in the past, I've been gathering information about my clients, whether they knew it or not. Uh, I work for a telco, by the way, for these with smart communications. And I had access to a lot of information about my customers, whether they were my dealers, uh, my retailers, my uh, customers like you, uh, subscribers. But uh, that's the problem. Eh? Uh, we were processing information about individuals, and they didn't know about it. I'm going to ask you, who among you 
knows that you have eight rights as uh, individuals regarding your data. Do you know that? Uh, eight rights of a data subject as enshrined by the data privacy law here in the Philippines. Uh, raise your hands, please. Do you know that you have eight rights? Okay, that's pretty much... Uh, uh, that's the situation now. There is a law called the Data Privacy Act of the Philippines. It was enacted in 2012. The implementing rules and regulations were put in place in 2016. And yet, a lot of people still don't know that companies can just process your information Sir, without their consent. Can you post your question? Yeah, okay. Uh, I'm gonna ask now uh, to the companies, uh, what are you doing to protect the rights of uh, individuals like us? Are you compliant with uh, the Philippine law, the Data Privacy Act? Uh, Ms. Cindy, uh, Ms. Cindy, in particular, the Pasi Maria Rosawa, the former porn star, Japanese porn star, is now based in the Philippines. She had her information posted in the no, in social media while she was here early this year. Uh, what are you doing to protect the rights of our uh, data subjects? Where do I begin? Madame. <laughs> So we're not only complying with that data really seriously, and we go above standards. So actually, there's this group in the region that really comes in and audits everything. To the point that, so like, ako as marketing, I can actually see all of your rights. I know where you went. I know some of the most often used drop off point. I can actually just open that system. So but internally, imagine what the lens we go through, not just even externally. Internally, to get that access, very hard. And that's audited by the number of times you open it. And that's audited by so I had a teammate once who's who was called in because they noticed nila na yung teammate ko na yon naka-open yung account ko palagi dun sa portal niya. And wow, di ba? Kasi natatak yun. And well, the reason was because I was asking her to check some of my details on the Grab app. Um, but we do think, so internally, may ganun pa siya. Within our own employees, we're not allowed to access data. See agents, the agents who handle all of this data, they go through a flow before they can even access that. So that's the internal. We're also not allowed anymore to do surveys that are on mga open platforms, not unless it's authorized by uh, the region. And any breach inside goes like, with a memo. May regular audits siya, and for anything that goes out on social media, yun kasi, the, I guess the difficult part there is that we have a habit of posting. Yeah, and it, that goes both ways. Passengers posting pictures of their drivers and all of that. And that goes on to the app. Hindi naman natin pwede tanggalin. Kasi that was the purpose of the platform. You know who you're writing with, right? But at least we take out things like numbers. We've actually already started doing now number masking. So hindi mo na makikita yung actual number and started doing DOIP. So ngayon, oo, it runs through the system na hindi ka na siya regular telco call na makikita mo. All these things are being put into place kasi we really take it seriously. Um, I've actually gotten several people memoed in the office because I saw them. Like, yung mga simple, like, uy, May problem daw si ganitong pasahero kay ganitong passenger. Tapos nag-send siya ng, ah, o oh, based sa ganito, ito yung right niya. May mo yun, kaagad. That's not allowed. And I take that seriously, and everybody in the office takes that seriously. So, yeah. Which is a point of data privacy. It's a big topic. But my point here is that 90% of the breaches are behavioral. You can put uh, any system you have, no, any policy you have, data privacy, but the truth is 90%. So again, we, we go back to behavior. So it goes back to the self, the person. Uh, and how do you change behavior? It's, in Philippines, no, if I need a USB, no, someone will get it and plug it immediately. That's the simplest social engineering I can do. But there's a lot of social engineering I can do. No? Like, uh, you know, uh, getting past the private uh, office. No? I can just ask Kuya, no, Ate, Kuya, the cleaner. Uh, Naiwan ko yung, ano, yung card ko eh, no? pwede mong papasok. That is simple, no? you can test that. No? You can test that and 
when you leave your uh, ID. So uh, it's all behavioral, no? and uh, you can put as many technology uh, policy. And CD was JD favored by penalizing from a memo, no? right? And behavior management is also being the managed now by AI. No? So since behavior is something unpredictable, no? uh, it can be predicted by an algorithm in AI. No? So, uh, so that's being done. Thank you. Thank you very much. So uh, at this point, so thank you very much for those insights. Uh,